So the other night I was at a friend's house and this guy, Andrew, confessed that his e-commerce store wasn't doing so good. And so then we got into this group conversation because my other friend Mia was saying how her store was actually doing so well and that she was making sales every day. So if you guys wanna be a fly on the wall and hear how this conversation went down, then just keep on watching. Because I'm gonna share with you why Mia's e-commerce store has been so successful and how you can replicate that and why Andrew is having trouble even making one sale a month and any of those mistakes that you should avoid. So by the end of this video, you're gonna learn how you can make some really easy fixes to your online store and your marketing so that you can start increasing your sales. But if you're new here, hey guys, what is up? My name is Michelle Valley. I am your host. I'm a creative strategist. I'm an e-commerce girly. I'm a digital marketing expert and I am really just bigging myself up here. And guys, this channel is called Learn with Shopify. So here on this channel, we teach you how to grow an e-commerce store so that it will be hugely successful. So if that sounds like something that you would like, if you are an entrepreneur, then make sure that you're hitting subscribe. Okay, so back to the story. So we're in the kitchen and we're all introducing ourselves and someone asked me, they're like, what do you do? And I was like, oh, like I do some work for Shopify. And both Andrew and Mia go, oh my God, like I have a Shopify store. So we start talking and Andrew says, you know, my store's not doing so good. And then Mia was trying to help. So she was like, well, what kind of promotions are you running? And Andrew was like, well, we always have this, you know, standard free shipping after $50. And Mia goes, okay, but what else have you tried? And Andrew goes, that's it. That's all we do. <gasps> and we were like, oi, papacito, no, this is mistake number one, okay? Listen, the Spanish only really comes out in dire situations. And guys, this was a dire situation because if you're not A-B testing offers all the time, you are leaving an increase in conversion rate on the table. Your conversion rate could be way higher if you just tested different offers like free shipping after $40 or even free shipping after $50. You could run tests like buy one go on free versus 20% off, for example. And guys, everyone's audience is gonna be sensitive to different types of offers. So you're really just gonna have to test that out for yourself. And I would recommend that if you do wanna get started with this, you should try downloading this app. It's called One Click Upsell. It allows you to test different offers to different audiences at different points on your website, whether it's in your cart drawer or on your checkout page. So Mia was saying that she loves this app and then she's also saying to A-B test different offers in your email marketing with Klaviyo. Anyway, so the conversation continued and it turns out that Andrew was on his first ever dropshipping store. But Mia was saying that she had been dropshipping for about three years and she had failed seven different times with different products and different businesses. And really the takeaway, at least for me, was that Firstly, you can't really expect to hit a home run on your first dropshipping store. You need to be comfortable with failing. And secondly, you have to spend a little bit of money. You can't really expect to hit a home run on your first try. And I know it's scary because it's like, how much money should I be spending on all these failed businesses, right? But if you think about it, it is money well spent. Think about how much an MBA costs, okay? Guys, hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? And think about how much it costs to spend some money on Facebook ads. You know, if you really wanna try a business idea out, it's worth it. It's not gonna cost more than a few thousand. So yeah, guys, don't be afraid to fail because you will and be brave enough to let a business idea go when it's no longer working and just, you know, pivot and make space for a better and a new one. Okay, so we started talking about how he launched his business and it turns out that he built the e-commerce website and just started running ads right away. What? <laughs> he never tested out any organic videos on TikTok. He never went to any Facebook groups to get feedback. So essentially, he didn't really test the waters to see if there was any natural interest before running ads. And guys, that is not good. Not good, because it doesn't matter how good your ad is. If you have a product that no one wants, you are not gonna be able to sell. So don't do what Andrew did, guys. And for you guys, make sure that you're getting organic feedback before running ads. That means posting videos to TikTok, asking subreddit groups what they think, for example. And if you get crickets, like no views, no likes, no comments, that means people couldn't be bothered to stop and pay attention to what it is that you're trying to bring to life. And it's kind of harsh, but that is an amazing indicator that if they can't even do that, they're probably not gonna be willing to shell out money for what it is you have to offer. I know, right? It's the cold hard truth and sometimes it does hurt. It do hurt. But you know what doesn't hurt when the opposite happens, guys? If you post a TikTok and, you know, your business and your products are going viral and you have this, you know, beautiful proof of concept, 
then you're ready to start your business. And that is fulfilling. So make sure that you're doing that before you're starting your business. Anyways, then it gets juicier. Then Mia says to Andrew, okay, so like open up your phone. Let's see your site. And at this point, I'm starting to feel bad. You know, he's probably embarrassed, but honestly he was taking it like a champ. So he's like, okay, he's kind of shy, but he pulled up his phone and he was like, this is it. And it was one of the ugliest sights I have literally ever seen in my entire life. And there was no denying it. And we looked at him and we were like, what have you done? And he was like, I know, I just like haven't updated in a while. And we were like, updating it? You need to overhaul this thing. <laughs> it turns out he had gone in and butchered the theme so bad. The fonts were weird. The color combinations didn't make sense. And guys, like, of course it's important to customize your Shopify theme because you know, you wanna make them on brand. But if you go so far off and you don't have that much design experience, it's gonna be a bad situation. Shopify themes were designed by professionals. So if you're using a Shopify theme, you know, of course use your own imagery, but make sure that you're sticking to what the designers uh, intended because they're designed to increase conversions. They're designed to look beautiful and just to overall help you. Speaking of which, we actually have a free online course that will teach you how to build an e-commerce business with Shopify. So you're gonna learn how to develop a must-have product, build, a powerful brand around it, and launch an effective marketing strategy. It even comes with dozens of free templates and worksheets. In a matter of days, you could have an online store with a steady stream of customers. So if that sounds interesting to you, sign up using the link below. Okay, so back to the story. So this was actually not part of the conversation, but I really got the sense that Andrew just like wasn't into what he was selling. He didn't actually have a passion for it. He knew very little about the community surrounding the products, and it just kind of sounded like he lost steam and just lost interest. From my personal experience and what I have seen, I think that is the number one reason that e-commerce businesses fail. I see people get burnt out and not really have the discipline. And if that's you, like maybe you've been at it for a few months or maybe you've been at it for a couple of years now and you're just kind of like over it, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Literally just comment me, like just comment me. And if we have enough people saying that, that will let me know that I need to make a video on how to tap into a version of yourself that is disciplined and passionate because the most successful business owners have these two traits on lock. So if that's of interest to you, leave me a comment down below. The third trait that successful entrepreneurs have is they prioritize action. Every one of y'all have at least one $1 million business idea. It's really execution that separates the winners from the losers. That's harsh. So stop thinking about it and guys just get started. You can start a free trial on Shopify right now. I personally think that's an incredible opportunity if you ask me. So do not let it go to waste and sign up using the link in the description box below. Well, that is it guys. These are some of the reasons why your e-commerce businesses could be failing and some steps on how to change it and make it better. And hopefully a look inside this conversation gave you guys some of those like aha moments that maybe you were blind to before. Guys, do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you like this video. And if you wanna see more content that will teach you how to be a smart, resilient, powerful business owner, then hit the notification bell, hit that subscribe button. Guys, my name is Michelle Bally. I am so, so proud of you for getting out there every single day and putting your best foot forward. Y'all are amazing and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.